welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos I love to share information because I know that information is power and it's going to benefit anybody that sees my videos um, today I'll be sharing information about surviving on minimum wage in Manitoba and um, this is because recently there was a calculation done by a company um, calculating the number of hours people can work in different cities in Canada, um, those who are working on minimum wage and how if they can afford a rent in each of these cities. And what was peculiar for me was um, Toronto and Vancouver. And for people living in Toronto and Vancouver who are earning minimum wage salary, they have to work about 100 hours before they can have enough money to pay for a one bedroom or a two bedroom apartment um, in the city center and that cost an opera so in continuation of what i usually do um i've done this before on surviving on minimum wage in ontario so i'm doing surviving on minimum wage in manitoba and the focus is on Winnipeg because Winnipeg is where you find a lot of new immigrants so the minimum wage in Manitoba is $11.35 and if you multiply that by 160 hours, which is the number of work hours one should um, work or put in before you can earn something monthly, if you multiply $11.35, you'll be getting $1,860 in a month. And then if you multiply that $1,816 in a month, you'll be getting $21,792 in a year. So let's say a family or a new immigrant comes into Canada and like what most new immigrants do is to search for any job, um, for, especially for those who are lean on their proof of funds. They just want to, you know, hit the ground running and um, search for any job so a new immigrant with a wife and two kids let's say the man wants to work while the woman wants to go back to school and both kids are under six years old that means they have to attend daycare and the cost of daycare is about 400 to 600 dollars but it's highly subsidized by the by the manitoba government and um, so if the man is going to be doing a minimum wage job which is 11 dollars 35 cents and the man will be earning $21,792 in a year. So the question is how can he survive on minimum wage in Manitoba? If he's living in Manitoba, either Winnipeg or Brandon, those are the two um, cities. So here is the analysis of how he's going to survive on minimum wage in Manitoba. Since he is earning $21,792 in a year, um, in a month, he's earning $1,816. And this is based on the minimum wage figure. And this is the gross income. Federal tax is $90.19. Provincial tax is $97.92. And the total tax deducted from $1,816 monthly income will be $188.11. After the total tax deductions of $188.11 from his gross income, what will be deducted next is the Canada Pension Plan deductions. And that is $77.74. And the next deductions is the EI deductions, that's the Employment Insurance deductions, which is $29.42. So the total deductions from his gross income is $295.27. And like I mentioned, his gross income is about $1,816. If you take out $295.27, the net amount or what he's going to take home after all the deductions will be $1,520.73. So that means what will go into his pocket after every deduction is $1,520.73 in a month. So how will he survive with $1,520.73? If he pays for rent, which goes for $1,200 in a month, um, what will be left out of his income will be 
73 cents. But the good thing is the Manitoba government has what you call the Manitoba Rent Assist. And I'll be showing you um, on the website, the Manitoba government website, how to get an estimate of how much rent assist uh, this man is going to get after paid his rent or how much he's going to get to add to his income that will subsidize his rental payments. To get an estimate of how much rental assistance a low income earner will get from the Manitoba government, you can find the information on the Manitoba government website um, where you just Google rent assist and it will pop up. You can find the website here. I'll be leaving the website on the description box of the video. And then you scroll down because there are different types of rental assistance. One is for those on welfare and the second one is for those who are low income earners so you scroll down and then you click on the rent assist estimator this is the rent assist estimator for manitobans not on employment and income assistance you scroll down when you scroll down you will find a questionnaire where you can put in your details it will ask you questions like how many people live in the household. So let's say four people, a man, a wife, a man, his wife and two children. And then how many children under 18 live in the household? Let's say two, two children under six years old. The estimator will then ask for the net annual income. For new immigrants, they've not filed their taxes yet. So it will be based on what they are presently earning and having done the calculation the annual income the annual net income based on a minimum wage earning is $18,240 the next question that follows is are you or your spouse or any other adult in your household receiving employment and income assistance benefits no the next question on 55 years of age or older is no. And then the final question on disability tax credit is should be no. And then when you click estimate benefit, you will find here below that the Manitoba government will be giving a rental assistance of $406 to supplement the rent that the low income earner will be paying. Based on the rent assist estimator, if the low income earner pays $1,200 for rent, the Manitoba government will be paying $406 in rental assistance for the low income earner. And at the end of the day, what the minimum wage earner will be paying for rent is just $794 because the government will be subsidizing part of the rent instead of paying $1,200 the government will take will be paying four hundred and six dollars, and the minimum wage earner will be paying seven hundred and ninety four dollars. In addition to that, the minimum wage earner will be getting one thousand two hundred dollars from the Canada Child Care Benefit, which he can add to supplement his income. And um, if I add everything together, his net income of one thousand five hundred twenty dollars seventy three cents plus the rental assistance from the Manitoba government, which is about $406, plus the Canada Child Benefit, which is about $1,200, his total income will be $3,126. So if you take out the deductions on his monthly expense, what his monthly expense will be, he pays rent $1,200, he buys um, the Pego card, for transportation with Winnipeg, that should be $100. For him and his spouse, would be about $210. And then if he's going to put his children in daycare, that is also subsidized by the government. Like I mentioned earlier, let's say the man is working and the woman is going to school. So they'll have to put the kids in daycare. And that's also subsidized by the government of Manitoba. And for such situations, they'll be paying let's say about $40 or $60 per month for a child daycare, which is subsidized by the government. They will not be paying the full amount. Um, then, and then groceries, the total amount or the, his total expense should be, let's say about $2,000 or 
$2,300 thereabout, and he will still have enough money in his pocket for savings. Based on this analysis, it is obvious that someone who earns a minimum wage in Manitoba can actually survive and also have a little savings in his pocket, depending on how he's able to manage himself. The person who is earning minimum wage in Manitoba does not necessarily have to work 100 hours to, you know, to pay his bills because the government has subsidies in place for minimum wage earners and um, with which they can supplement their income and live comfortably. So this is the analysis I have put out there for people who are planning to come to Canada uh, for you to make a choice of where you intend to land. I hope you find this information useful and beneficial. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.